video, I'm gonna be designing streetwear like gallery department. If you guys don't know who they are, definitely check them out. They sell t-shirts for $250, which actually isn't that bad for a high-end streetwear brand. Some of them charge upwards of $500 to $1,000, so not too bad, I guess, but uh, I will never spend that much on a t-shirt. I barely wanna spend $30 on a t-shirt, to be honest with you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna go to their website and try to mimic the style they're going for. Before I begin, I do wanna say a few words because I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and on this channel, I really see it going in the direction of like teaching you guys all sorts of things about content creation, such as photography, videography, and obviously I'll still do graphic design on this channel, but um, as far as just doing merch design, I definitely wanna broaden my horizons. I wanna do other things. I think just doing merch design is holding this channel back because it is such a specific niche. So what I wanna do is upload all of my merch design, if not most of it, to Merch Design Academy. So if you guys want more t-shirt design tutorials and different merch design videos, definitely head over to Merch Design Academy linked in the description below. And I just uploaded a brand new Adobe Illustrator t-shirt design tutorial for you guys, so you don't wanna miss it. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, so I'm on Gallery Department's website and I really don't see anything too, too crazy. A lot of it's pretty simple stuff and I really like that. So I'm going to definitely try to stick with this style like for example this one right here we could do something like that that one's kind of cool with the flames i really like this brain with the wings i might try something like that this looks like clip art so i don't think it's going to be that hard to uh, pull that off even this cream tea right here is pretty cool with the back it's interesting how they used black ink on the front pocket print and then on the back they used an orange ink that's very interesting and these streetwear brands all use the same fonts by the way it's either futura Helvetica, um, there's a couple other ones too, but most of them use Helvetica, believe it or not. I think Off-White uses Helvetica as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to do something with this brain. I'm gonna go to this website called Public Domain Vectors. These are completely free to use, by the way, so if you guys wanna check them out. Let me see if I can find a brain that's kinda similar. You know what, this one actually looks similar as far as like the style goes. So I'm gonna download that one. The only thing is we don't have wings. So I'm gonna type in wings as well. Bam, so we already have like different resources that we're gonna use. I feel like this is like too easy though, but I don't know what it is about me, but like I'll stop on the first page. It's like, dude, there's like five, 10 pages sometimes, so. All right, let's go to Photoshop, open up a new document. So I'm gonna go uh, new file. I'm gonna go to saved and I have a merch design template. It's 15 inches by 18 inches, 300 DPI. All right, so I have that document. I do wanna invert the background because I wanna work on lighter color shirts. For this one, I'm just gonna use gallery department's name. So I wanna make sure my foreground and background color are default. So I'm just gonna press D on my keyboard. And what that's going to do is it's gonna take the foreground color and make it black and then take the background color and make it white. That's pretty much it. And now we have default color. So when I go to type out some text, the foreground color is black, so my text is going to be black, which obviously we can change later on, not a huge deal. And I think what I wanna do too is probably grab a mock-up. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab some mockups. So let me go to my asset folder real quick. If you guys don't have an asset folder, that's a pro tip. Make an asset folder that you can, like basically all of your design resources, add those to a folder and save them somewhere. Trust me, it's gonna make your life way easier. I'm gonna go grab these vectors real quick and just import them and see what we can do with them. So I'm gonna make a group with these and just name it, let's say, I don't know, vectors or SVGs, there we go, because that's what they are. And I guess what we could do is just kind of pick one. I think I wanna work with the brain first. So let's go ahead and take the brain by itself and just resize it, make it much bigger. And let's just cut this wing off. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, but trust me, I'm cutting it off. I don't know how I want this to look yet. Maybe like this. So I'm adding a layer mask and I just wanna paint black to delete things delete everything I don't want. So basically anything inside of the wing, I want to delete because we want to show the wing, obviously, right? So you want to get rid of that. That was one wing and I'm going to take my lasso tool and just cut the other wing off the suit and we could delete the suit. We don't need it anymore. And I think with this one, I'm going to make it seem like it's kind of behind a little bit. Maybe the perspective's off on these wings, but I mean, I don't really care. I'm gonna press Command T on my keyboard. You can also do Control T if you're on a PC. And I'm just going to add a slight warp to this to make it look like it's kind of, you know, arcing or not arcing, but it's folding almost over. I don't know. And then again, I'm gonna do the same thing. Add a layer mask and just delete. And we can always like add stuff back if we paint white. Remember that 
black deletes white adds. So don't stress if you're like deleting things that you didn't mean to delete. So if you press X on your keyboard, it will switch your foreground and background color. So I'm just switching that around real quick. So on the first wing, I'm adding a layer mask and just painting with black and then um, just kind of fine tuning it, I guess you can say. I actually like this a lot. So I'm gonna merge these together. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go ahead and uh, just type out gallery. And as you can see, it's like the same font as gallery department. So I'm gonna go condensed black with that. So Helvetica new condensed black is what I'm using. And I'm just gonna do something like that. And we're done, that's it, that's the video. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, but uh, no, but in all honesty guys, it's not always about getting this like crazy design put together so you can throw it on a shirt, right? Sometimes it's more about like the simplicity and how you can decorate the garment to look really good. So yeah, anyway, yes. So let's uh, let's uh, keep that as one of the pocket prints or one of the prints. Instead of Hollywood, California, I'm just going to do uh, Nashville because that's where I'm living right now. What I wanna do is go back to their website because they, they have a specific way of like, oh, they flipped it on theirs. Is that the same brain? No, nah, it can't be. Oh, they just let it all hang out. So they, okay, so they did resize uh, the other text. So maybe I'll make this condense bold and just resize it a little bit. And even the spacing, you know, that's something you should pay attention to. My spacing is pretty good. I think it needs a little bit more room to breathe. I'm gonna change my mock-ups color to more of that cream color. And I'm gonna do that for both the back and the front. Way better looking. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this. And I think I want the brain on the front of the mock. So let's, let's do that real fast. Yes, and it needs to be kind of big too. That's cool, yes. All right, now let's take the back text and do that too. Did I spell Nashville right? F this looks pretty cool. I wanna experiment though. I wanna like make the front maybe an orange print instead. So I'm gonna go back to that graphic and let's change it to more of an orange color. I'm just really playing with these colors because uh, I don't know, sometimes doing stuff that's just black and white gets boring. So let's try to add some more flavor to this. Let's see what that looks like. See, I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Maybe even experiment with the shirt color some more. Huh, I don't know. That's a hard one. I'm gonna stick with the cream color and the orange print. I think it looks cool. And I, I think it would sell. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. Let me go ahead and make a board for all of the like designs that we're coming up with today. I thought it'd be a good idea to do a long sleeve and then put that that uh, gallery department print on the pocket itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out real fast. I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna look really good. So, and this needs to be a lot smaller. And by the way, I'm not actually printing this, guys. This is just a concept, all right? I'm not gonna print this and make profit off of it because it's not my right to do that. This is literally just for fun, all right? And ob obviously for educational purposes, so don't worry, not printing it. Anyway, um, I was thinking for the pocket, what if it was like, crooked on purpose kind of so maybe do something like that maybe not <laughs> maybe don't do that let's take these flames and see if we could do something fun with them i'm going to copy these and then just paste them on the sleeve sleeves if i do command t i can right click warp and we could just kind of warp them around the the cuff here whatever you want to call this so maybe i can um Add a layer mask, possibly? Let's add a layer mask. So let's go copy that one right there. So as you can see, it's already like looking like it belongs there. From here, I could just take the lasso tool and make a selection around the parts that I wanna delete. And then you just wanna make sure you select black so it deletes, not adds. And as you can see, now it looks like it actually belongs there, which is really cool. I'm gonna duplicate this and flip it. So I'm doing Command J. You can also do Control J if you're on a PC. And I'm just going to right click and flip that. And let's put this on the other side now. And we can also just retilt it because it doesn't match up perfectly, which is okay. One thing I was thinking too is like, you see the gradients, like how it goes from orange to yellow. What if I copied that on gallery department? I have gallery department right here. So I'm just gonna title that layer so I know exactly where it is. And what I wanna do is add a gradient fill above this. So I'm just gonna go up to maybe just gradient actually. 
and then we can add that as a clipping mask. So if you hold an option and hover in between gallery departments layer and the gradient fill layer, you can just create a clipping mask. You can also right click on this layer and create a clipping mask that way. And if you're on a PC, you can hold an alt, I believe it is, or yeah, it's alt. So you can also do it that way. And um, it's the same thing. So now that we have that gradient fill, what I could do is click on it. I'm gonna make three points essentially. So one's gonna go at the bottom, one's gonna go in the mid, and one's gonna go at the top. And then at the very top, we're obviously going to have that yellow color. What I ended up doing is taking out the midtone and just keeping the shadow and highlights. And I had to mess with them quite a bit. So for the orange color, I did 53 on the location. And for the highlights, I did 55 and it ended up looking like this. And I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna press okay on it. And that's pretty much it right there. That's the, that's the, design and I think it looks really good. That was fun guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.